Hello, I'm John Harold from Zytron. For the next few minutes, we're going to see what it takes to edit and change the workflow settings for a single job in Zytron's Navigator GPS without affecting the workflow configuration. For an example of when this might be necessary, let's take a job and run it through our standard CTP workflow. We simply select the PDF and drop it into the workflow window. The job rips and then holds before output because we have a pause configured in the workflow. We inspect the job to make sure everything is correct before going to plate, and we discover there is no trapping. If we highlight the job and right click on it, we find the selection Edit Jobs Workflow. We'll choose that and then look at the RIP settings. Here we can see that the trapping is set to None. We'll change that and use our standard trap settings. When we exit the workflow edit mode, the system asks if we would like to release the edited job to the next step. When we click yes, the job is re-ripped with the new settings and a pencil icon appears on the job line. This means that the settings were changed only for this job and that the workflow settings have not been modified. If we highlight the job and inspect it again, we can verify that the trapping was enabled and that the traps exist. We can now release the job to the plate setter.